हेलो नमस्कार अदाक टू ऑल माय फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम योर फ्रेंड एस्ट्रोलॉजर एंड गाइड इरफान वंस मो विथ यू फ्रॉम योर वेरी ओन चैनल एस्ट्रो अश्योरेंस लाइफ इज बट द चॉइसेस वी मेक इट इज सेड एंड इफ चॉइसेस आर व्हाट मेक्स ऑफ आवर लाइव्स देन द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज दैट व्हाट आर द चॉइसेस दैट वी हैव एंड सीमिंगली वाइल देयर आर चॉइसेस दैट वी आर अलाउड टू मेक how many of those choices are actually within our realm and we actually make them are some of the choices also made for us while it seems we have made those choices and is there some freedom or a lot of freedom or complete freedom given to us about what choices we can make and thus what we can make out of our lives so a shloka in the hora goes सा सा संभक्ते बुद्धि सा मती विच मीन्स एज योर इंटेलेक्ट फंक्शन सो इज योर इंक्लिनेशन मीन्स दैट योर बुद्धि इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर योर मती योर इंटेलेक्ट एंड हाउ यू मैनिफेस्ट एंड यूज योर इंटेलेक्ट विल ऑल्सो मैनिफेस्ट योर इंक्लिनेशन वेर यू आर इंक्लाइन टू वे यू आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स वॉट चॉइसिस यू मेक so your intellect your analytical ability about situations in life are very very important now what gives us the superior intellect to us while from the astrological point of view mercury stands out from what intellect is given to us how strong is our intellect and what kind of strength do our analytical abilities have however while the intellect is strong and may give you some analytical ability to make an analysis does the mind the mati the inclination always go with the choices we make which means is the choice based on a mind eventually or a analytical ability it's a combination of both actually but eventually it is the mind which decides what choices we make because mercury can give us the analytical ability a strong ability to analyze and say okay this makes more practical sense however many times our emotions take over and many times various marketing gurus have said and uh, even peter drucker has said that uh, choices are based on emotions and less on analysis which means after we do all analysis after we have all the um, you know practicality at our doorstep and it seems that one makes sense than the other eventually the choices that we make is based on the emotional aspect where we find our inclination towards so in short the intellect will give you the ability to weigh the pros and cons of decisions but your mind will eventually take over however while choices are given to us the results the output of those choices may not be in our ruling which means we may not be able to rule the results of the choices we make the final result that we get out of the choices we choices we make is not in our hands so we may marry a person based on our choice but we will be very happy with the person the marriage will be a long term stable steady and we will be able to manifest the results that we thought we would when we made the choice is it a guarantee how many love marriages fail even when we make the choice of who we want to marry there itself lies the crux of what choices and results come together as in a life The Kathopanishad states, "Vigya nasa yathir yastu mana par grahvana nara so dhavana parma proti tadishrano parma padam." I translate: Illumine your intellect with divine knowledge, then with the illumined intellect, control the unruly mind to cross over the material. ocean and reach the divine realm 
So in a sense, what is being told to us is that illuminate your knowledge with the divine knowledge and use that to move towards the divine realm. And this you can do only when you are using the divine knowledge to make those choices. That means your choices should be based on not only practical considerations, material considerations, but should also be based on moral and ethical values. Because otherwise you miss the bus. You miss why that intellect has been given to you and why the opportunity has been given to you. So what are the decisions which are allowed to us? What are the choices allowed to us? I have already made a video that where the Kendra houses are concerned, not many choices are given to us. However, where the trine houses are concerned, the Lagna, the fifth and the ninth, more choices are given to us. However, the Lagna is also a Kendra house. So some choices for your Lagna in terms, for example, your health, your genes, your outlook or how you look or your personality or more or less decided for yourself. For example, you can't change your height. You can't change the color of your eyes. You can't change where you're born in, for example. Who are your parents? So a lot of attributes of the Lagna are not allowed to you. However, the results of the fifth and ninth house to a large extent are allowed to you based on your choices. And why is it so? What is the fifth house? The fifth house is the house of romance. So you may fall in love with somebody. However, whether you want to reciprocate or demonstrate that love or tell that you love the person or not is your choice. Whether you want to take that romance forward is your choice. You may want to have children in your life and basis that you may plan children with your spouse. However, whether children will be born to you or not is not in your hands. But the choice of whether you want children or not is given to you. The result is not. So a large extent of choices are allowed to us through the fifth and the ninth house. What is the ninth house? The ninth house is the house of higher learning. It is up to you whether you want to manifest that higher learning or not. And higher learning is not all only about education or whether you get higher degrees or not. The higher learning is also about spiritual knowledge. How much are you manifesting and investing your energy in trying to gain spiritual knowledge and then uplift yourself to be closer to him. However, as much as you want to invest in the decision making in the fifth and the ninth houses, unless there is a particular attribute of serving him, those results may not be given to you to the extent that you want to manifest them. For example, if this is the ninth house of moral and ethical values and to serve him, if in your decision making, in your choices, you are not thinking about does this choice of mine in any way help the, 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 the humane population? the extended network of mine beyond my immediate family and my closest friends. And if it's not serving them, then am I doing something in terms of also helping, helping the extended humanity? If not, then your choices are not based on the ninth house because the spiritual angle, the serving him angle is not built in, but only the lagna is being built in because you are taking choices based on what serves you and makes you happy of your immediate family who you want to manifest results for. And if the decision that you are trying to take is not in line with your karma, what karma you need to manifest. And if you are moving away from your karma also, then too those choices are limited. And because the fifth and the ninth house is the house also your sanchita and your prarabdha karma and hence some choice is given to you, otherwise how will you manifest your karma? But if the choice is taking you away from the karma of what you are need to action on, then all choices are not allowed to you. The other thing is that the 11th house is also the house of meeting your aspirations. So if your aspiration is to earn a lot of money, 
then there should be a sharing of energies between the second house the fifth house the ninth house as well as the eleventh house if not the choice of the fifth and the ninth house will be allowed to you however in terms of earning to the extent that you want your aspirations to be fulfilled how much you want to earn that may not be given to you why is the fifth house important in terms of earning of money also is because fifth house is also the house of taking risks speculative risks and hence if you are taking speculative risks in terms of your investments then you may or may not be able to get the results of that investment. So the choice of whether or not to make that investment is up to you. And hence the fifth house is also the house of stocks and shares that you may invest in. And so will your, will your shares work for you? Will you earn money or not? Is the result that you it's not in your hands. However, if the second and the fifth and the eleventh houses are sharing energy, then the second house of earnings is getting connected to fifth house of you taking risks based on your choice and the eleventh house giving you and fulfilling your aspirations. So your earning, your risk taking ability of the fifth house and your eleventh house of meeting aspirations are getting connected sharing energies and so to a large extent your choices, your wish of how much money or to the extent of money you want to get to a large extent that may come true. However, your second house, your fifth house, your eleventh house has to be very, very strong. Second, if you want to have a lot of adulation, name and fame, which the fifth house also shares energies about, because the fifth house is also about public performances. So if your eleventh house of meeting of desires gets connected to the fifth house of public performances, the tenth house of what career and uh, work that you do in the 11th house and the first house the lagna then basis what your reputation is what arts uh, and, and what's what competency or what ability you are able to exhibit what artistic ability or performances you are able to showcase and demonstrate then to the extent that you want to do that kind of name fame adulation may come through you come through to you from the 11th house so basis what house is sharing energies with the 11th house, the Lagna and the 5th and the 9th house basis that the success will be given to you, more choices will be given to you and not about anything else. The other thing is what planets get involved. So if the sun gets involved in the 5th house and the 11th house energies then the choices is about taking leadership. If the moon gets involved and moon shares energies with the 5th in the 11th house for example, the moon being the fifth lord being placed in the 11th house or vice versa or aspecting uh, moon being the fifth lord and aspecting the 11th house for example. Then the choice will be about your ability to make right choices through right thinking. If it's about mercury then you will use the power of analysis. You will use the power of making uh, practical choices, weighed choices. And so using that you will manifest energies. So it's also important to note what planets are involved. If a house is involved, say 2nd, 5th and 11th house lots are involved, the houses are involved. And but the 2nd house lot is not well placed, then the extent to which your aspirations are will not be met. You will make some money because your aspiration is to make money and you are ready to take the risks and terms of the fifth house but because your second house is combusted or debilitated or weak the amount of money you may want to make you may not make so you will have to see the planetary energies also where you are you're trying to make a choice in if you want to make a choice pertaining to the fourth house what house you want to buy what car you want to buy um, and where you want to live where you want to make your house then your fourth house, your eleventh house of aspiration, the lagna, because where you live and how you live also will affect your reputation. And these three have to be strongly connected to also the second house, because the second house is the house of immediate family. And so if these four don't share energies, then the chance that you will get the 
house of your desires house of your aspirations and your dreams may not come through the other thing is the uh, fourth house is also the eighth house to the ninth house so hence if ninth house fourth house eleventh houses also share energies and if the lagna is strong then too with fourth house being the eighth house to the ninth house the fourth house can be an impediment to your fate and luck if your choice is that you make about your house is not the right choice so for example if you take a wrong unethical decision based on which kind of property you want to invest in sometimes somebody is in need of money and because that they are in need of money you make them a very poor offer and they need the money desperately and they are ready to sell their their property to you even at a low cost and you make it a choice to use somebody else's uh, troubles to get your property then the ninth house of ethical moral values and the fourth house being eight to it will play its part sooner than the, then later while you are allowed that choice the result that you should be happy in that house you will have mental peace you will have domestic happiness will not come to you and hence many times we will be wonder i made this decision why has this decision gone wrong it seemed to be a great decision to either marry this person or to do this degree or to join this company or to go to foreign lands we make choices and we think these choices are great choices but seldom will do we realize that sometimes these choices may not have been based on the values that the ninth house wants you to showcase and demonstrate in making the choice and the knowledge of the ancient shlokas which comes from the fifth house so if you are not getting your moral values from the shlokas and the religious texts given to you in the fifth house and what manif- values you should manifest through the ninth house then obviously those choices will run into stumbling blocks if saturn gets involved as a planet then saturn will want you to make choices which are not just practical but they are also decisions based on following rules and regulations following law and order following conventions not breaking the law not running away or doing shortcuts when it comes to documentation paying your taxes then the choice comes to if saturn does not want you to take a wrong choice based on unethical values then you should better refrain if not then saturn can become a very karmic planet and can that choice can go very very wrong so lot of choices are given to you what houses are involved that choice is given to you especially if fifth house the ninth lord the ninth house the third house and the lagna get involved and aspirations are fulfilled through the 11th house however you have to note which house is the strongest which planet is manifesting its energy and allowing you that choice and whatever choice you make the choice has to be ethical it has to be moral it has to be in line with overall values and purpose of life and there should be an element of serving him and serving others of of uh, of your um, of of your of the human community community if not then to a large extent those choices can either go wrong or be they may not serve you so look at what choices are being given to you and how to manifest them look at what are the strongest planets in your horoscope look at uh, how they are getting connected to the 5th house and the 9th house what planetary placements are getting connected to the 11th house or the 11th lord and how they all come together the more energies come together of the 5th 9th lagna and the 11th house the more choices are given to you but see what planets are involved what lords of which houses are involved and using the energies of that planet make those choices so friend this is my analysis of what choices are allowed to you and how to make those choices and make those choices as the right choices so that they won't go wrong so friend this is my analysis about choices and how to make them please like this video please share this video and till we meet some other at the time with some other video this is your friend astrologer nirfan signing off ciao